All right, so we're just about to get started. I definitely want to introduce you guys to Lisa and Flavio. I think this is way more Lisa's idea than Flavio's, but I really think the two of them have been talking about it for a long time. So let's go get them, see what they have to say, see how excited they are about this finally happening. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The best way to learn anything is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. Excited. There you are. There you are. <laughs> I can't wait for this to take place. So it's about to start happening. So really though, how long has it been? I think I think like two years ago, maybe even longer, yeah. you started asking me if hey you could come out, give us some ideas. I kind of ignored you and then Lisa, you took matters in your own <laughs> hand. The bulldog, I'm right? just like I didn't even copy him on the email. I'm like he doesn't need to be part of it. He doesn't need to know. I didn't even tell him that I was related. <laughs> they, they bypassed us and went straight to just the women talking. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> so how long has it been though? Has it been a few years? This is a newer house for us, so our previous house, I know we wanted a pond there, and that was, we've been here for about three years. So All right. At least three years or four years that we've been trying. Well, to. aren't you glad we didn't put a pond yeah, in at the I other am. place? It worked it out. out. It works yeah. out in the yeah. end, you know. Everything I'm happens for a happen. reason. It would have been a tiny little thing. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been at Aquascape now? I've been at Aquascape for going on 18 years now. So yeah. awesome. I, 18 years that I've been dreaming of the day that I'd have my own property, that I could get my own pond. Well, you've got five acres here, <laughs> and so, Lisa, that meant a big pond. So what yeah. were some of the big things you wanted to see? with this pond. I think some of the big things was like a wetland filter, having a waterfall. I want it to be deep so the kids can kind of like dip in there. I wanted larger stones and I definitely wanted moss rock. Moss rock so. was a huge thing yeah. and then you love the little like sun deck thing over yes. there at Aquascape. Yeah. So the kids absolutely love that little beach uh, that you go to. Sure, so yeah. yeah, something you can put some little chairs in, sit in there, have your feet in the water, have the koi fish like swim around. So. Just that interaction. Yeah. Yeah. That. And you know like she's well versed because I do the background stuff for Greg's yeah. channel. So it's like, <laughs> hey, look at this, look at that. Yeah. 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 Well, that's the problem. So you guys get to see the fullest potential of all the ponds. And because you get to see the fullest potential of all the ponds, you know exactly what you do and don't want. Right. And a little 10 by 15 foot pond in your five acre estate back here would look a little yeah. out of scale. Yeah. I also didn't want to be like that person who's like, I keep hearing like every single time he does Greg's videos. I was like, oh, bigger, oh, biggest. Big, bigger, bigger. Yeah. Like, I'm not that person. Just give me the big Let's one. I'm done and over with. If anything, yeah. we're going to move. We're going to go down from here. So. Well, that's awesome. Well, we'll get back over there. I think we'll design it out. We'll kind of lay out where the seating areas are going to be you've got big deck that's going in back there right yeah, now so you got other construction that. projects happening at the same time we've got to figure out where the wetland is going to go we got to figure out where the waterfalls is going to go this is stuff we usually figure out beforehand <laughs> but we're just going to kind of do it on the fly out here Let's do it, man. Uh, just excited. start bringing out a whole lot of boulders and we'll get this thing done we even got the professor making some special right. cameos out here so that'll be great okay. awesome guys i'm excited i'm glad you guys are excited and we'll get started Thanks, <laughs>
do the waterfalls. Most of the pond is done. This is going to be kind of a little lounge area. There's some chairs sitting back in there. We have jets back in there to push water out there. We've got all of this done. A deck's going to cantilever out this way. The wetland's done. We found this awesome giant log, which is just great because it breaks up the monotony of all the rocks. Now Ed and I are starting to work on the waterfalls. This is a pretty tall waterfall. The biofall is right at grade and you can look at how big it starts looking with that giant berm. We've got this big rock over here. We've got some rocks over there to play with. We're really going to start just kind of piecing this together. But we're going to take you through step by step on each rock and hopefully get you guys kind of inspired, motivated to build your own waterfall. We have one more day left back here. So much stuff has been done. 99% of the pond is rocked in. We've got to get the gravel in, do a quick rinse down. Ed and I are working on the waterfalls over here, but I really wanted to talk to Flavio and Lisa about how they've felt so far about the construction process, because it is a mess. And I really want to get their feelings on what they think. Are they more overwhelmed with the mess or are they more excited about it being towards the end of the project? Here we go. Hey! Hey, Brian. <laughs> what, what is this? <laughs> like, look at the, look at there's dirt everywhere and clay. Right, right. right. No, kidding, what grass? Idea. Now, it has rained literally four days in a row to oh, some no. degree. It's been rain, it's been wet. Yeah. I don't know how you guys are able to yeah. push through it, man. Like, no matter what, you guys just keep at it. I don't I know. Feel bad. Making progress. <laughs> yeah, we feel bad. We kind of help you guys out. How are you feeling? Because this is something you've been dreaming of having for a long time. The pond's deep. Yes. So we got you almost four feet down. Yeah. We've got kind of your designated sitting area over there. Yeah. We have a giant wetland filter and some pretty enormous weathered limestone moss rock pieces placed throughout. It is awesome. I'm loving it. I'm still trying to get used to the dirt look, but, you know, <laughs> but it's all coming together. It's, it's nice to see the rocks, like, you know, coming in and forming and seeing, like, the kids even, like, already exploring around the area. So it's, it's very exciting. We, the kids, the chickens, the goats, chicken. they'll be exploring yeah, around. Yeah. The goats were on the rocks yesterday. <laughs> and, so, and, yeah. and Flavio, last time we talked to you, well, both of you, because, Flavio, you do so much of the editing for Greg's channel and stuff, yeah. you know the fullest potential. Both that you guys have vision, right? So you moved into a five acre estate and built chicken coops and boardwalks and goat areas. You got this big deck going in the back. I remember meeting with you before. You said you were gonna do big like French doors or some big sliding glass so, door yeah. over, over there, new windows and stuff. Is it hard for you to visualize what it's gonna look like when the lower deck is done, when the landscape's in? I would say still a little bit, like once we get it in there, but like it's taking shape, right? So yeah. like I know that all that is gonna be hidden when you get water in there. Uh -huh. So it's a bit that it still take in when you have all this rock to sit in there but once yeah. the water gets added i think and we get the deck it'll be yeah. a little bit easier for us to kind of understand like where to set up areas to sit and hang out at but yeah lisa you've been adding plants throughout the yard all over yeah. the place like i counted five little tulip oh, trees yeah. in the front yard oh, you've got yeah. hundreds of oak trees yeah. that you've put in are you excited to start landscaping this oh i am i think i'll be at it this weekend <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah i'm already thinking like you guys finish friday i have three hours <laughs> to go buy plants what are the plants we're gonna put in that's Do we all she needs that, that one <laughs> it's done all right time to it's already landscape it. <laughs> so now that you guys have gone through the process a little bit, you haven't quite seen it filled up with water, but you're at the stage where I would say the bomb has dropped in the backyard. What's something you would tell future pond owners or people that are looking to design a pond in their backyard? Well, first of all, you're going to see a lot of rock coming in. <laughs> and, you know, we had the street with the giant truck, semi truck of all these boulders. And we look at it and you're always thinking, where's all that going to go? But it starts to fit in and fill in and this starts to dwindle down and get to less and less. So, yeah. Yes, it could be overwhelming, but like yeah. in the end, it's worth it. I mean, it's yeah. just let these guys do their thing. It's, yeah. it's easiest to get out of their way. I think grass will grow back in a few weeks. We got really lucky with the time of year that it's a great time to seed. So. Yeah. So be prepared for a little cleanup, yeah. a little bit of a mess. Lisa, you said something earlier too. Like the one thing you knew not to do was do a pond too small. Yes. Because I'm just gonna go bigger, so I'm just <laughs> go gonna bigger, start go home. Big. We'll do the little tiny water features and creek things later. Awesome. <laughs> so. Well, we have a water truck coming tomorrow. You guys are on a well, and if we tried to fill it up with your well, we drain that well pretty yeah. fast. So we have a water truck coming tomorrow. It holds 6,000 gallons of water. I'm guessing you're pretty darn close to a wow. full truckload okay. of water. Ed and I's goal today is to really get that waterfall done. So tomorrow, weather permitting, yeah. right? It's yeah. kind of gray. Weather permitting, I'm hoping we're turning this thing on at noon tomorrow. Yes.
Mm -hmm. All right, so nice. get it all awesome. graded out. I think you said you had some mulch and stuff. Yeah, yeah we've got yeah. some by the barn and then um, So we can help top dress lid. some of this stuff so, yeah. you know, you don't have dogs and goats running through mud yeah. all over the place. Children. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you, Brian. Right. So, yes, definitely a bomb has gone off. Mud, 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 mud. This area all gets a deck that's going to cantilever out over the pond in there. I know the two-tier deck is just going to look really, really awesome. This is going to be more of the kind of informal seating area. We put this big cove back in here and it wasn't original part of the pond the pond was just supposed to kind of come to here and she really wanted this deeper water with the idea of fish swimming around chairs so we took this whole area down about 12 inches deep so the fish could comfortably kind of swim back up in there because of the big cove we created a dead area so we do have some jets pushing from this area here we've got water pushing from that area more water pushing from the wetland filter and then we just added some more jets back over in here so we've definitely got circulation covered we're getting pretty close and we're just starting on the waterfall all right guys i told you i'd take you step by step through this waterfall this waterfall is getting to be way trickier than we thought one of the biggest obstacles we have with this waterfall is when you set the biofalls so close to the edge of the pond it really restricts how much room you have to be creative between the frame rocks and the pond to the face of the biofalls really limiting what you can do and so this is going to end up being like a quick three-tiered waterfall coming down because there's not a lot of space to do anything that creative in there. By doing that, a couple things happen. It becomes challenging. It'll also make the waterfall look more dramatic when we're finished. So the first rock we set was this one here. Then we knew we needed to get some height to get us up higher than the biofalls. We found this great spill stone here and we came in. We've got another frame rock here. The next rock we're gonna set is probably gonna be another spill stone in here. And I wanna set this spill stone first before I set another frame rock. If I set the other frame rock first, then it's hard harder to find that piece in here. What I'd rather do is find this piece and then bring this piece back over to it. So we're gonna start piecing this together. And then obviously we're gonna have to get some wing walls off into the side. I'll meet back up with you guys in another three or four rocks and we'll show some more of that progress. Here we go. waterfalls are getting done we're almost up to the top of the biofall if you remember this was the first rock then we came in we set that one we found a great spill stone found another frame rock here you notice most waterfalls are all built the same way you know two frame rocks on one side something in between this one will be interesting because it's a little lower than this so water should actually hit that and come off water should hit this one because it's sitting about 12 inches ah no about five inches above water level right there we'll get a nice sheet of water coming over there and then i just saw ed with a tape measure which means he He's eyeing up the rock with that space right in there. So we're gonna set that one next, come in, do some wing walls off the side, very similar to how we finished this off. And then we've got a water truck coming in about an hour. Right, an hour. An hour, so we'll get water in here and then Flavio can go swimming. Uh, yeah, jump right in. <laughs> Coming. Definitely have this thing running today. Uh, that water truck brings about almost 6,000 gallons. I think it's like 5,800 gallons. So we'll see, get a good idea too of how many gallons this pond holds. I'm guessing that whole water truck is going in. Go 
waterfalls is done. I don't know where we left off, but we had frame rocks in here. We've added some of this stuff. Here's the wing walls that we've added back off to the right. Some accent boulders in here. It's so important to add like character boulders just kind of around so it's not a pocket of rock and stuff in here. Boulders that carry out over here, over here, even the one that Ed's sitting on over here. His little meditation stool. It looks so good. So we've got jets running from where the little chairs are going to run. You can see that circulation from there. We've got the wetland running over there. You can see that water pushing out of that space. There's a jet that's underneath the cantilever deck over here. We're just about ready to turn this waterfall on. Ed, what do you say to all your fans? <laughs> do, do you have like some kind of like catchphrase <laughs> that you say? Like, hey, like be beautiful, stay cool, like no. stay in school, be no. cool. Biomimicry. Biomimicry. That's my favorite. Yeah, biomimicry to all. <laughs> to all. And you're gonna see a lot of it happening here in a few minutes or seconds. Seconds. It happens that quick? Seconds. Oh wow. yeah. As soon as you put water to something. Wow. Biomimic it. Tardigrades could stay in a cryptobiotic state. And that's enough of him. Time. Okay. <laughs> really the only opinion that matters is oh, what do you think, God. Lisa? I love it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I if the smile is like that now before yeah. it's even turned on. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. What do you think, Flavio? Turn it on! Turn it on! Let's turn it on! You know how many times I've seen this stuff and I'm just every single time. I'll Does it feel surprised. different when it's your own? Yes. Does it? Like, I, I'm like still in disbelief that this is ours, right? Like I've gone to projects, seen them for a while, like, walk away and then Like Santa just dropped off right, his first exactly. present. <laughs> this is incredible. What do you say, Jack? Job well done. Right? Oh yeah. For me? For who? For, for you. Yeah, thanks. Only for you. Do you think we could have done it without <laughs> that guy? No, we kind of needed him on this one, huh? Yeah, just well, a little bit. To get it done, and what are we? Were we out here five total days? Probably six, actually, because you guys started on Thursday. Oh yeah, it was six. Thursday, last Thursday. Yeah, but we didn't come out here Friday. No, but then we were out here five days this week. Oh yeah, but today doesn't count. Today we were yeah, yeah around, right. yeah. just spreading mulch and yeah. digging holes in oh, the oh. trenches. Oh man, oh he's going. Oh, he can't help yeah. it. Go all the way. Baby. Yeah, you are. Oh. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! This is awesome. On Saturday and Sunday when it's 80, it's yeah. going to be great. a fun one there you know when they're all fun there's not really a pond that's not fun and that's why we're still doing it after all these years it was awesome to work with that again you know we worked for a good probably 10 years solid every day together and now ed travels the country teaching other contractors all over the place doing some pretty incredible builds it was super awesome to have ed out here helping with us we did the whole project in i would, I would say five and a half days five of those days it rained on us so it kind of slowed us down we had some other obstacles that we had to deal with but nonetheless i think we got a ton of stuff 
stuff done in a short amount of time. Hopefully you guys like this as much as Flavio and his wife Lisa do. Uh, Flavio has been working for Aquascape for a long time and I'm so, so excited to see how this pond is going to mature and how the family is going to mature with it, right? And use it at the different ages the kids are and everything else. Be ready for a lot of content coming from this pond because Flavio edits all of Greg Whitstock's The Pond Guys videos. And so now that he's got something out here where he can get content every single day, we should see a lot of cool pictures coming from this water feature. It was fun to show you guys, you know, kind of the waterfall back over there and all the different rocks and now what it looks like. But yeah, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you. I think our next project's in Utah. So we're heading off to Utah. We'll get that one done and then we'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye.